Hello guys, hope you have been having a great day. In this video, we'll be learning about uh, many things and many definitions in graph theory. When we are given a power system or when we are given a network, we can reduce it into graph. And this graph has many components, like it has branches, it has links, it has loops, it has many other things. So, when we are required to uh, solve a graph or solve any power systems or, or power system, my bad. Uh, we are required to be acquainted with terms like tree, branch, co-tree, etc. So in today's session, let us learn about just that. Before we form the graph, uh, the tree or uh, before we find out what the branches and links every and everything else is, we need to have something called the oriented graph. And this oriented graph is either provided to you in the question itself or he might give you just the line diagram of a power system and you will have to draw the oriented graph yourself. So in the first step, let us find out how to form a tree from a given oriented graph. First of all, I need to uh, make you clear that tree is nothing but the oriented graph redrawn it, the only difference is you don't have closed parts in a tree for example I have this oriented graph here I have this oriented graph how many closed I have closed parts here this is a closed part this is closed this is closed and this is closed and when I'm drawing a tree from an oriented graph I need to avoid the closed parts so and remember one more thing, that the number of nodes, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, the number of nodes has to remain the same. So let me mark the nodes now for my tree. 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are my nodes. And now I'll connect these nodes as given in the oriented graph itself. I'm connecting 1 and 2. The direction remains the same. Uh, forgive me this sh this is 4 and this is 3 so this is a tree from the oriented graph and you can also um, yeah also remember that you can draw the tree in any way you want say for example in this example maybe the number of ways to draw the tree is only one but there will be lots of examples where the where you can have a number of ways in which you can draw the tree from the oriented graph now if you notice the difference between the tree and the oriented graph the thing is there are no closed loops there are no closed parts you don't have you don't have this and you don't have this and this they're absent from here so this is the tree so a tree can be defined as that uh, uh, oriented graph in which you don't have any closed parts and you have the same number of nodes and there's something called the branches in a tree say 1, 2, this is a branch 2, 3 is a branch and 2, 4 is a branch these are called the branches of a tree if you notice the number of branches say denoted by B and the number of nodes 1, 2, 3, 4 is denoted by n, the number of branches b is equal to n minus 1. b is equal to n minus 1. So now I think all of you are clear with what the difference between a tree and an oriented graph is and what a branch in a tree is. Now let us see what a link is. Now, uh, if you remember our oriented graph, we had closed parts. We had closed parts. So if I redraw those closed parts here, there was a closed part like this, there was another part like this, and there was another part like this. So those three lines are your links. The dotted lines, which I'm showing there, in the tree diagram which I've drawn before, they are the links. Say, this is link 1, this is link 2, and this is link 3. So, 
links can also be called uh, or also can be they, they can be referred to as the, that part of the graph or that part of the oriented graph other than the tree my oriented graph was like this and my tree was like this and the three links which I have got are these I have the three links like that so links or the uh, links are those elements of the graph other than the tree so if you know how to draw a tree from an oriented graph you can also draw down the links later so now I hope you're clear with what tree branch and links are now let us go to something called the code tree as the name suggests Co tree. Co stands for complement. So co tree is nothing but the complement of a tree. We have discussed about links being those elements of the graph in which uh, uh, those elements of the oriented graph minus the tree. The co tree is a similar thing. My oriented graph is. like this and my tree was like this so my co-tree is the complement of the tree and is like this this is my co-tree so always remember you ha you really have to number you really have to number all the nodes uh, without numbering the nodes uh, well the shapes can mean nothing and by nothing I mean nothing so I'm just giving you a rough sketch of what it actually is. So the next thing is, yeah, co-tree is nothing but the complement of the tree. And uh, you, one thing you need to remember here is that all the nodes of a co-tree need not be connected. Say, for example, I in my, uh, my, say my oriented graph is a bit different. Say my oriented graph is, is like, um, let me choose blue. And same a oriented graph is like this. Then my tree is going to be like this, just as before. And my complement of the tree or my co-tree is, is going to be... No, that's not. The complement is going to be like this. So this is my co-tree. So co-tree is the oriented graph minus the tree. But link is where all the link is what forms a loop between your branches. Yes, I hope this thing is clear for you. Now, next, let us move on to something called the loop. And I think by now you must be guessing what a loop is. And I'm sh quite sure you are actually right. We have drawn links, we have drawn branches, and we have drawn trees. So, a loop is, as I've already mentioned actually, is uh, formed because of a link. This is a link, this is a link, and this is a link. So here, I have three loops. This is a loop, this is a loop, and this is a loop. And you might get a doubt, how am I assigning the direction of these arrows? Well, that depends on the direction of the specific branch. Say, for, for example, if the branch here says, uh, go like this, then the loop is supposed to, um, then the loop is supposed to go like this, actually, in the other direction to what I have drawn. Okay? So, the direction of the loop depends on the direction of the branch. So this is a loop. This is a loop, this is a loop, and this is a loop. So we have three loops in this graph. So now I'm sure that if you're given an oriented graph, you can draw a tree, 
you can identify the branches, you can identify the links, you can draw the code tree, and you can identify the loops. So, in the next video, we'll learn how to draw an oriented graph when you're given a power system network. Have a nice day. If you have an exam tomorrow, all the very, very best.